The sample proportion, p hat, actually has a distribution. Imagine I took a sample of 10 students from a population and was interested in how many left-handers there were. In the sample, there could be 0 out of 10, 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10 left-handers, 3 out of 10, etc., etc. And what we find is that this um, sample proportion is distributed. Okay? We could get 3 in the sample, we could get 2 in the sample, we could get 5, we could even get 10 left-handers in the sample of 10. Unlikely, but it could happen. When we sample from a small population, we do this without replacement. Now, what's a small population? It'll be clear in the question. Okay, so this is an example here of a small population. From four red balls and six blue balls, uh, we take a sample of three balls at a time and record the number of red balls. So what we're looking for is red balls here. So the possible outcomes are zero reds, one reds, two reds, and three reds in the sample. That's what I can get in a sample of three balls. I could get none, one, two, three. So p hat is the proportion of balls within the, uh, with the particular attribute. Okay? And the sample proportion p hat is x over n. And this x value here is a random variable, um, and in this case is the number of favourable outcomes, the number of red balls in a sample size of n. So in this case uh, here, we can get p hat taking on the values of 0 out of 3. So it could be 0 red balls in the sample of 3, 1 red ball, 2 red balls, or 3 red balls. Okay? So in conclusion, this notation, probability that p hat equals 2 thirds, means that 2 thirds represents the number of red balls 2 from a sample of 3. Now we're going to note that the, in this case, the probability when I do this is not constant. So let's fill in this table here and work out how we actually are going to find the probability that the random variable is 0 out of 3. What are the chances of getting 0 out of 3? To do this, let's just try to imagine it with a tree diagram. Red and blue. Red was 4 out of 10. Blue was uh, 6 out of 10. Uh, and could get a red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and red, blue. All right, so now this red here, because it's without replacement, this is a small sample, the next red is 3 out of 9, and the last red is 2 out of 8. Uh, 6 out of 10, uh, then another blue is 5 out of 9, and 4 out of 8. All right, let's start filling in some other probabilities. So, uh, oh, let's actually write our possible outcomes. So we could get red, 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 blue, red, blue, red, red, blue, blue, uh, blue, red, red, <coughs> blue, red, blue, uh, blue, blue, red, or blue, blue, blue. Okay, so what we'll do is work out the probability that the sample proportion or the random variable is the sample proportion zero out of three. So that means that in the sample there were no reds, i.e. it was all blues. Okay, so that's going to be six out of 10 times five out of nine times four out of eight. Now that is going to be, so, oh, boy. Probably faster to do this in the head. One sixth. Um, let's do three out of three. That means from the sample they were all red, so that's going to be four out of ten times three out of nine times two out of eight.
Uh, so that one was one sixth. That's four, three, and two. So that's going to be one out of 30. Okay, let's do one third. Now, one third um, is going to be uh, we've got uh, one red in the sample of three. So one red in the sample of three is going to be this one here, this one here, and this one here. All right, so how's this one here acquired? It'll be blue followed by blue. So it's going to be six out of 10 times five out of nine times four. So this is blue, blue, red, four out of eight plus the next one here is going to be 6 out of 10 times 4 out of 9, because that's the red one, times 5 out of 8. Uh, and the last one is going to be, so I've done blue, 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 red, red, blue, blue. So red, blue, blue is 4 out of 10 first times 6 out of 9 times 5 out of 8 equals. All right, so because we've got the same numbers in the numerator and the denominator, 6, 5, 4, they're just in a different order, all we need to do is do one lot and then multiply it by... So there it is there, and we're going to multiply that by 3, and we get a half. Okay, and two-thirds, well, what we could do for two-thirds is just do one takeaway, one-sixth plus a half plus one over 30, and <clears throat> that's going to be 30 over 30, takeaway times five, five over six, plus 15 over six, uh, thir 6, 30, 30, and 30. Uh, that is going to be 20, that's going to be 9 out of 30. Okay, so that one has to be 9 out of 30. I could work it out using this method here, um, but I've just used the idea that the uh, probabilities here need to add to 1. All right, so there's my distribution for a small uh, uh, population or a small um, uh, a sample from a small population. All right, so let's go on to the next question. So you can see there that they're the same answers. No, they're not. Oh, 9 out of 30. Good one. 3 out of 10. Okay, so yeah, these are the probabilities of obtaining this particular sample. So the probability that the random variable is these things here. So the chance of getting 0 out of 3 in the sample is 1 sixth. Okay. All right, so let's find out the probability that the random variable is larger than a quarter. So here is 0, here is 0 0.3, here is 0 0.6. And here is one. So we need more than a quarter, which means that we need this, this, and this. So that's going to be a half plus three over 10 plus one over 30. Um, that's going to be um, not this. So that's going to be five over six. So all of that is not that. All right, this one is more than 0 0.5. Okay, so that's these ones here, given that it's less than 0 0.8. So we know it's not going to be this one. So more than 0 0.5 means it's... <clears throat> so greater than 0 0.5, given that it's less than 0 0.8, is going to be 3 over 10, divided by... What are the chances of being less than that? It's not this. That's 29 over 30. Um, and that is going to be 3 over 10 times 30 over 29 once 
three, nine on 29. All right, what is the expected value of p hat? Well, the way we do this is we simply work out the expected value like we did with discrete. It's going to be 0 0.3 times that, 1 third times that, 2 thirds times that, and 3 thirds times that, um, all added together. <clears throat> now, let's see if we can have a punt on what we think it might be. So the chance of getting 0 out of 3 is 1 sixth, a half is that. So I think I'm going to expect it to be low, maybe 0. I reckon it's going to be about a quarter. Um, so about 0 0.25. Let's see what it is. So it's going to be 0 times, I don't know why I'm writing this, but 0 times 1 sixth plus 1 third times a half plus 2 thirds times 3 over 10 plus 1 times 1 over 30. Okay, 0 0.4. Okay, I've got that wrong. 2 out of 5. All right, now the standard deviation. So what we'll do to get the standard deviation is find the variance of the random variable, which is the expected value of the random variable squared. Take away the expected value of the random variable, all squared. Okay, so all it will require is a simple tweak of this. So what we do is we square all of these values. That's one third squared, two thirds squared, and three thirds squared. So we get two ninths. So this one here is two ninths. Take away the expected value squared, which is 4 on 25. Okay, so that is going to be 2 ninths take away 4 over 25, which is 14 over 225. So that's the variance. Okay, so that's sigma squared. So sigma, which is the standard deviation of the random variable, is just going to be the root of 14 over 225, uh, which is shift root. Uh, root 14 over 15. Let's get an approximation on that which is 0 0.249, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that's the formulaic method. We can also use uh, stats section. So we'll go menu stats. Um, and you can see here, I've done another question recently um, on prob. So I'm just gonna, oh, I can use these. So zero, one third and two thirds and three thirds. And it's one sixth. half, three on 10, and one on 30. And then we'll just do calc one variable where the frequency is in list two. It says that X bar or the mean is 0 0.4 and the standard deviation is 0 0.249. I hope I got that. 0 0.249, so there you go. Um, so there it is via the formula, but um, one variable stats will get them for you. Um, and you should use them if they're just one mark questions. Um, albeit, if it asks for no approximations, you should do this via the formula because it will give you the exact answer. All right, so let's just try this out on a Heffernan question. And this one's a good one. So the year 12 leadership team at a school is made up of four females. So I kind of just draw the females and three males, male, male. So I can visualize it. Three of these uh, students are rostered at random to be present at the junior assembly uh, each week. Now notice that the group that we're choosing from is small. 
Let P hat represent the sample proportion of female students who are rostered to be present at next week's junior assembly. Write down the possible values for P hat. So that is, if I took a sample of three, how many females uh, could I possibly get? Okay, so P hat is going to be equal to X over three, where X is the number of females. So in this case, we could get zero females, one female out of the three, two females, or three females. Um, and I don't know whether they'd penalise this. Um, therefore, zero, one third, two thirds, or one. So these are the possible um, values that P hat can take on. Okay. Now find the possibility that P hat or the probability that p hat is equal to one. So that's this one here. And that means that we're asking, uh, what is the chance that the sample has all girls? All right, so that means that when I select um, first time round, I'm going to select between a girl and a boy, or male and female, and I get a girl. All right, so the girls, the chance of getting girls is four out of the seven, first of all. So that's going to be the first one. And then I select again, um, and I grab another girl. So three out of six uh, times two out of five. And that, I'm just going to edit this one, four out of seven times three out of six. Oh, actually this is exam one, so really I shouldn't be using the calculator. Uh, 12, 24 out of 42, seven, six of 42, five, 200 and, oh, 210, 42, five, zero, one, 200 and, 10. 12 out of 105, 6, 3, 4 out of 3, oh, 4 in 35. So there's a 4 in 35 of the random variable uh, being one or the sample having all girls. So that's what we do with small populations. What do we do in big when we get big populations, click on the next video.